everything you think about recreational shark fishing and toss it over the side. Anglers at this research-driven sporting event compete against each other without boats. To earn points, they'll need to safely catch, measure, photograph, and research tag all qualifying sharks before releasing them back to the wild. Land-based shark fishing in the Black Tip Challenge? Ha <laughs> ha! It's like nothing you've ever seen. Previous episodes of the Black Tip Challenge. Basically, anglers will have to, uh, they will be given 10 tags and they will have to uh, tag 10 sharks. Uh, the, first, the first 10 sharks they will have to be tagged. And after that, they can uh, catch and release. And all the sharks that are tagged, they have to be uh, me uh, measured fork length, girth, and overall length. And we will, they will be uh, submitted uh, back to know all the information. And, um, Basically, ang anglers will comp be competing for largest shark, most sharks, and largest black tip. We will also have uh, divisions for female anglers and for junior anglers. And there will also be uh, prizes for recapture tags and other stuff like that. Welcome to the 2009 Black Tip Challenge Land Bay Shark Fishing Tournament. Let's hit the beaches and see who's fishing and who's catching. You said we have a big shark by when? Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. So right give now? it one hour. Eastern Standard. One hour and forty-seven minutes. We'll have a big shark on. Eastern Standard Time. Eastern Standard Time. Perfect. Perfect. We're here somewhere on the east coast of Florida. Give us a run down here and drop this bait. Well, for, what we're going to do is we're going to tie a cinder block, a brick, or a rock to, with th really thin mono to the loop of our rig, you know, right at the wire. So that way when the shark bites it, it's going to cut right through it, it's going to drop the rock and we just get the fish on. What I do is I put it on the back of that kayak, the rock and the bait, keep the bait on the kayak as I go out so we don't lose a lot of juices on the way there. Once it feels, you know, when it's deep enough, say, after about 100, 200, 300 yards, just drop it down deep enough, come right back and wait. Like where it feels sharky. Just about. And then fight his way back to the surf. Try not to dump it. We'll be back, hopefully without a dump. Okay, well basically, this is for big sharks, okay? An 18 on Pitman, circle hook, okay? To use, I use double up number 19 wire. I use American fishing wire. Hay wire twist. I twist it all the way up. And then here we're just, I got a 500 pound swivel. Now, I use 500 pound mono, but I have about 6 feet of this, and then I put about 20 feet of mono. And for my, when I attach it to, uh, to, my, to my main swivel, I like to double it up and twist it, just in case one fails, you know? And, I mean, you want to use aluminum crimps for mono. Um, it's good to use thimbles. Thimbles will prevent them off from stretching when, it, when, when you got that little amount, amount there, and it will keep them in place. My favorite spot to put the fish right here. That's the first part that breaks off, bro. Not the last time. I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, you know, you're probably wondering with the bait this size, how do you keep it out there, you know? But uh, here's how we do it. We get rocks, this is a chunk of concrete, tie a union knot to it. What I like to do, I mean, these guys do it differently, but I like to, like to tie a you know, quick, simple uni knot to the eye of the hook. And what happens when the shark bites it, takes the bait, he'll bite this line off, the rock will break off just somewhere on the bait and eat it.
snap. Fish with my rod, bro. No, it's wrong. Look at that. So, that's what happens when things are made what in happens? China. There's another one for the collection. Well, the cone is safe. It still works, right? Well, I would say he was working under unusual circumstances. <laughs> so, that was a $400 bait drop. Yeah, uh, Between your Costa Del Mar and this. <laughs> Alright, take two. You know, the waves, which you can tell, are not small today. So it was kind of rough getting out there, but the way back was fun, you know, quick, easy, pretty clean, I mean, for the most part. There's tons of bait around. I mean, I got hit in this, by this in the face just as, on the way back. It's kind of weird, but it happened. We'll chunk them back out. We'll recycle, though. Yeah, we'll recycle. So we'll be back for the Black Tip Challenge somewhere on the east coast of Florida. On the next episode. What is it, Josh? Oh my god! What is that thing? Yeah, look at him. Look at look at that. Look at him. Get the get tag, get the tag.